Welcome to Power Search. In this video, we talk about 3D PDF in Revit. Can it be done for free? Are there any alternatives? Stick around to find out more. A simple Google search reveals that it's not currently possible to create a 3D PDF in Revit without the use of a third-party app such as Bluebeam or an alternative 3D PDF converter. Autodesk has more information on its website about this. Here, Autodesk recommends using one of the following third-party partners, but neither of these are free. If you can afford to pay, Bluebeam is a great option. But what about some of the others? Well, let's have a look. This is the Autodesk App Store, and this provider offers a trial period. Here, they provide a link to their website where we can get information about how much it will cost you to run this app. This is their 3D PDF converter, and we can click here to get a product overview. So, it will cost at least $100 for one computer. I think that's in US dollars. So, for that one-off 3D PDF, that's a lot to pay. But what if there's another way? Well, there is, and it's free. The only drawback is that it's not actually a PDF. Before you crack it and leave, stick with me for a moment. It's a DWF export, which is pretty much the same thing. The end user without access to Revit, such as a client, gets to view your Revit model for free. Now, you could argue that the file size difference between the two options is large. This workflow relies on links sharing, which means that you don't need to attach and send any files. That's enough rambling from me. Now it's time to show you the workflow. The workflow starts in a 3D view. From there, export in the DWFX option. Then click through the dialogs and save your file with an appropriate name. Once that is all done, jump on a web browser and search for the Autodesk Viewer. As shown on screen, this is a free platform. Click to launch the Viewer. You do need an active Autodesk account ID to proceed, but that's also free to create. Now upload the exported file. You can do this here or down here. The file is now uploading. And here is the model, which is pretty much the same thing as a 3D PDF if not even better through the functionality of the Autodesk Viewer. Through the model browser, you can toggle the related Revit categories on and off. You can use the tools down here to view the model, including orbit, sectional cuts, and even walk the model using the first person tool. To share this with anyone, even someone who doesn't have Revit, click the share tab up here. Then copy this code into an email or any other communication streams that you have with the receiver. From there, the receiver will be able to access the 3D DWF file through the Autodesk Viewer for 30 days. And all of this is for free. It's fair to say that you'll never need a 3D PDF converter ever again. That's the end of the video. I hope that you learnt something new and that you found it interesting. If you did, consider subscribing and hit the like button and drop a comment. And I'll see you in the next video.